In this video, I'm going to show you the way around the hosting control panel. Okay, so after you've registered for your hosting account, HostGator will send you a few emails. One of them will have a link to log into your control panel. But I'm going to show you a quick way to log into your hosting panel because the link is very difficult to memorize. So what I do is I normally type in my main domain name. That will be mactraining.com forward slash C panel. So by putting a forward slash C panel, that takes you straight to your login page. So I'm going to press enter. And now I'm on the login page of my control panel of my hosting account. I'm going to enter my username and password. And now this is what it looks like. Yes, I know it may look a bit complicated, but I'll just show you around the most important parts of your control panel. So I normally ignore this top part, these preferences. I never use that. This is where you set up your email accounts. So you'd go into um, email accounts and then you can set your email accounts for your domains that you're hosting on your server. I don't use SEO and marketing tools at all. And this is uh, used for manually uploading files to your server. In this video, we won't need to do that. So again, we don't need to worry about this this option and then the logs again we don't need to worry about that security don't use that now this part here which says domains is very important if you need to host more websites on your server this is where you would come and you go to add domains we'll go into a lot of detail in the upcoming videos regarding adding domains to your server okay databases i hardly use this but this is where if you want to take a look at your databases for your server or make a few changes or even download the database, you would use PHP MyAdmin. But in most cases, you won't need to do that. Okay, this is very important because this is the option that we're going to use to install our WordPress website. So I would use Quick Install. And then this advanced, I've never used this before, so you don't need to worry about that. Okay, so these are the main sections that you need to use. Um, the software and services, domains, and also mail. In the next video, I'll show you how to point your name servers. Thank you for watching.